Hey guys, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name's Kelly. Hi, if you're new, today I'm gonna be sharing with you guys what is on my iPhone. I recently just updated my phone to the iOS 14 and I absolutely love it. I feel like it's so customizable and so fun because everyone's phone can look so different now and it's not like their traditional iPhone. So I thought it'd be fun to share with you guys what is on my iPhone and then also how I customize it. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you do, be sure to give it a big thumbs up and if you're new to my channel, I would love it if you hit that subscribe button down below along with the little bell next to it so you can get notified the next time I upload but we're just gonna get right into it I'm seriously so excited I'm gonna put like a little screen recording over here so that you guys can see what I'm doing on my phone so my wallpaper is from Pinterest I tried to have a white and black theme for my phone I love it I feel like it's very clean but it's like a sparkly glitter wallpaper which is so me I found it off Pinterest so I'll have it linked down below I have a whole board called wallpapers on my Pinterest in case you guys want to check that out you just save them and then you can set them as your wallpaper which I think is so much fun so you guys might notice I have these things called widgets on my phone, which are new for iOS 14, which I absolutely love. I feel like it's so fun to customize your phone. So the first widget that I have is my calendar, and I'll show you guys how to make these after I show you guys everything that's on my phone. So I have the calendar widget, which I love because it lets me know what day it is, but it also is helpful because you can kind of get a glance at the month and look ahead or kind of look back and say, oh, that was on Saturday, like, you know, that kind of thing. Then I have my clock widget, which is just the clock app, and you can open it up and it has your world clock so I just have like places that I keep track of what time it is some of them are kind of preset in there I have my alarms and I also have a stopwatch and a timer which is pretty basic for the clock but it is you can add different clocks in it but I love the big clock widget on here because it makes it so easy to know what time it is then I have my phone app and honestly I don't know about you guys but I've been getting so many random like missed calls or like unknown numbers that I just let them go to voicemail then I have my calendar which I use religiously I love having the calendar app on my iPhone because it syncs up to my Mac which, which is so helpful for school just to keep on track of projects and it's just kind of like I can write it on my phone and see it on my computer which I love. I feel like it keeps me so organized. Then I have the photos app and nothing really changed within any of these apps and then I also have the settings app which I think I have like an update I have to do so that's probably what that is or it could be storage full I'm not really sure maps notes and reminders again those all stayed the same for the most part there might have been a few little things that changed but nothing special and then i have the category of phone and so this is where i keep all of my phone like ones that i just use but i don't use often enough to keep on the main screen so there's the wallet app which has like sign in so if you have like airplane tickets or concert tickets i use it for my gym pass so i don't have to physically pull out like my little card to sign in you can put your credit cards on there there's voice memos there's a calculator the app store contacts find my phone health facetime in the weather app so i just kind of keep those in there i use them occasionally but not that often then i have this other little widget that is a quote so it's actually a picture that i found off pinterest and put it in here so again it's the black and white theme but i love it it's very motivating so your only limit is you i love that quote and i love seeing it every single day then on my bottom bar i have the safari app spotify which you guys should definitely check me out on spotify it is just that kelly two eyes tomlinson i've been listening to the most random music lately so i just created this new playlist called happy and this second song is my favorite it's so happy but it kind of turned into a pop smoke playlist somehow but you know it's okay I love it and then I have my messages and then I have the camera app and the camera is pretty much the same which I love the camera on this phone I have the iPhone 11 Pro and it has like the three cameras and it just is a fabulous camera I film some of my YouTube videos on it but I also like to shoot all my Instagram pictures with my iPhone then if you swipe over I added another widget and this is a large one and I just put a picture of me and my boyfriend in it I think it's super cute it's black and white this was one for one of our podcasts Cast of photo shoots which if you guys aren't checking out our podcast definitely check it out it's linked down below it's called call you later we're on all podcast platforms which is super exciting we also have a youtube channel which is in my other channel section on youtube then i have a little folder called social so i have my instagram which is just at kelly prepster super fun and i have a really fun fall feed going on right now and i absolutely love it then I have my Snapchat, which my Snapchat is public in case you guys want to add me. It's at Kelly 
prepster so you can just like scan that little barcode or screenshot i don't know i'll have it linked down below in case you guys want to check it out but it's seriously so much fun and i love sending out streaks to all of you guys and then i have twitter and i've been trying to tweet more really have been on my twitter game and that's just that kelly prepster too like my tweets are honestly like really pointless but i enjoy it then of course i have the youtube app where i watch a lot of my favorite youtubers i feel like it would be a really fun video idea to share with you guys who i watch like my favorite social media influencers all that kind of stuff so maybe you guys can find some new people so like like i could do like a follow friday so like who i follow on instagram who i follow on youtube so if you guys would like that video be sure to give this video a big thumbs up then i have the youtube studio app which is how i connect with you guys if i'm not on my computer so i can respond to comments check on how videos are doing publish videos all that good stuff like behind the scenes as a youtube creator then I have my Pinterest, which is my absolute fave. It's so much fun. I have so many boards, so you guys should definitely check it out. Again, there's a little wallpaper board. So these are all like things that I'll save and use as wallpapers on my phone or on my desktop. Then I have preview, which is how I plan out my Instagram feed which tomorrow i'm sharing with you guys how i edit my instagram and how i plan my feed so definitely hit that subscribe button so you can get notified the next time that video goes up i have my whatsapp app because my friend is in japan and it's just easier to communicate on that because we don't have texting fees then i have gmail for business Facebook, Facebook Messenger, and then I have this little app. So you can actually save your Safari searches into an app form. So this just takes you right to my blog. So it's kellyprepster.com, which I feel like is so cool. I upload a new blog post every Tuesday and Thursday. So if you guys want to check it out, I link all my stuff. I write like little stuff about it. It's so much fun. So definitely check out kellyprepster.com. It would mean the world to me if you guys follow along on there. Then I have my photos editing app. Section. So I have Afterlight, which I don't really use that often. Facetune, again, I don't use, but I paid for both of those apps, so I like don't have it in me to delete it. I have PixArt, which is a really fun app to add a bunch of stickers to your pictures. I have the Huji app. I have Visco, which is how I edit all my Instagram pictures before the fall. I have the Hashtag Expert app, which is how I come up with the hashtags for my Instagram, Snapseed, and Lightroom. Then in my school category, I have Duo Mobile, which is to verify your account. It's kind of like a dual sign-in thing. I have Outlook, which is the school email system that we use, and I have Canvas for students, so that's kind of how I can check in. I'm going to be honest, I shared this with you guys on our podcast <laughs> like two weeks ago. I just signed out of my email and the Canvas on my phone because I was tired of getting notifications about it, and I purely just check it once a week on my computer, but that's just how the semester is going and then i have the quizlet app and duolingo so quizlet's how i study for a lot of my quizzes but i haven't had any quizzes this semester it's just from last semester and then i have the duolingo app because i'm trying to learn french i watched emily in paris last month and i'm like i need to learn how to speak french now it's so cute so i'm on level let's check I'm on a 19 day streak and I have 15 crowns. So I'm on level like five, I guess, technically, cause I have like little five things open, but I love it. It's so much fun. Oh, well actually I have more open. Okay, but technically I'm on level one, but it's a really fun way to learn a new language. I definitely recommend checking it out. Then I have a podcast stuff. So I have Anchor, Podcast, Drive, and Docs. That's how me and John share our documents together. And then I just added the WordPress thing in there because I'm organized but not super organized. I have a Spark Post which is an Adobe product so I am an Adobe Cloud member where I pay for the whole subscription every month. I have to have it for school so I'm like I might as well take advantage of it and this is a fun way to create templates for stuff so since I pay for it I'm a premium member so I can create Instagram stories. You can just create any type of graphic and they kind of have like a simple like layout for it like you can click on it and customize it completely yourself but it's really cool because they're great for if you're sending out emails if you're creating blog posts it's just like a nice template to make something quick and easy on your phone then I have reward style which is the affiliated marketing link that I use for my blog for YouTube for Instagram you can also shop my looks on here um, which I should probably blur out the top part because I think that's confidential but you can like view my profile and shop it which I think is a really cool idea so if you like screenshot any of my outfits that have the little logo on Instagram you can shop it if you have a reward style account 
Then over here, if you swipe over, is my last page of apps. And I like to call this like my fitness slash business page, which is really weird how I organize it this way, but it's like my motivation. So I have this quote from Widget Smith that says, don't give up, which is actually like, and you can type whatever you want into it, which is like, don't give up on your dreams and don't give up on your fitness goals. And then I have my step counter for today. And I haven't really walked a lot, but I did do a cardio workout earlier and I'm probably gonna go walking later to get my steps up. But I have this health category, which has map my ride. So when I ride my bike, I like to track it with this Under Armour app. I have my fitness pal, which is how I count my calories, which I don't really count calories to be quite honest, but it is how I do that and track my workouts. And then I have the treadmill app, which is a great app if you are a new runner, like new to running and also like to have some sort of like routine when you're running I'll click on it so you click menu it's kind of glitchy but it's free and I like to do hit workouts so then when you click on it it'll like do 30 seconds walk a minute at seven and you just hit start and it kind of guides you which I think is really helpful because I don't know about you but sometimes I get really bored when I'm running then I have a money category so I have PayPal my bank eBay she in Etsy, sell on Etsy and Romway. So it's kind of like shopping slash like saving, I guess. And then I also have a show category where I have Hulu, Netflix, the countdown app, which I don't have downloaded. It's kind of like just there in case I want it, but that's usually like when I count down for Christmas or birthdays or traveling. I have Disney Plus and then the Sudoku app. So that's kind of like my entertainment. If I'm bored or something, I'll click onto that category. And then I have this app called Motivation and they just have motivational quotes, which I absolutely love. So that is everything on my iPhone, but I want to show you guys how to add widgets. So basically you download this app called widget smith it's in the app store it's completely free and then you have these options to create one so say i want to create another large widget so i'm going to add add large widget and then you go in here and you can customize it and you can pick it to be anything so you can pick time time and location photo photos and album photo and date you can make it blank you can make it upcoming events reminders whether it can be almost anything and then say i want to make it i'm going to go back and make a small one so i'll show you guys how i did the little step counter so you click on the small one and i want to make it ooh, a battery icon and then you can pick the color of it i'm going to make it white because i have a black and white theme and then the background color i'm going to keep it black and then the border i didn't pick any of this but you can do that and then you're going to hit save and then you go on to your wallpaper and click add widget i believe that little plus up there and i didn't name it as something but basically you can like add it and then add widget and it'll like rearrange your apps and everything which is really cool so that is a little step by step on how to do that and that is everything on my phone i seriously love the new ios update if you guys have updated be sure to give this video a big thumbs up and let me know in the comments down below what are your favorite widgets if i missed any fun steps or any fun ways to update and kind of customize your phone i would love to hear them and again if you're new to my channel i would really appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button along with the little bell underneath it so you can get notified the next time i upload and i'll see you guys very soon with my next video bye guys